um, it was a bit of a shock. My hearing loss was much worse than what I had ever thought. I could hear low frequencies very well, but I couldn't hear the high frequencies. If I would listen to a piano, I can't, without my hearing aids, I can't hear the top five notes. Um, which means I don't hear consonants. It always put me in a position of being behind the conversation. So I would rather be by myself. I would rather go to my shop alone. I would enjoy just creating something. It would be myself and what I was creating. I could kind of disconnect with everything else. My first hearing aids probably worked okay. Uh, but then I had continual hearing loss and we got the second set and they didn't work well at all. It was, it was easier not to wear them because, because Sue would always ask, why aren't you wearing your hearing aids? And it was hard for me to explain it. I was saying, well, they're not working. I guess I, guess I thought, you know, if, they, if these don't work, why would anything work? You know, Sue expects them to work, I expect them to work, and it's terribly discouraging if they don't. It just kind of reminds you of, you know, something's wrong. We all want to be connected with what's around us and feeling disconnected and thinking that this is the way it is and it won't get better and it's going to get worse. That's discouraging. That's depressing. Yeah, hope slips away. My wife Sue and daughter Christy really kind of ganged up on me, insisting that I see Dr. Gabbard at the Marion Downs Center. So many of the other people I worked with, it's like this was their job, you know? This is what we sell. And what was different, I think, with Sandy, it was clear to me right from the very beginning that she understood what the struggle was. And so what I would encourage for anybody would be that you go to a facility that understands your particular hearing loss rather than go to a big box, one size fit all hearing aid. That will probably leave the person discouraged. Soon I like to ride bikes, but when I wasn't hearing well, um, I would ride by myself. Now when I ride with Sue, there's, there's that special connection that exists with you know, the person that, I've, that I love a great deal and I've lived with for over 50 years. With the new hearing aids, I began to notice how so many things were very different. Really, really different. I could hear birds. I could hear crickets. The things I hadn't heard for years and years. Everything was different. And uh, that's nice.